Hello and welcome to Mahika Devlog number 18. First, Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you all had a great holiday. We had a great vacation and we're now fully refreshed, recharged and ready to take on another exciting year of game development. Now uh, let's kick it off with this new game vlog video. First, you may have noticed uh, the environment is looking clean. No shrubs, just one tree here and a mushroom. Uh, this is because we wanted to test version 1 of the enemy AI on a clean uh, world and you know look at how it behaves. So this AI, we actually built it a couple of months ago, just last year. Uh, and it's a simple AI, let, let me uh, show it to you. Ooh. Awesome. So. What we have is the enemy has a chase zone. Once the player enters that chase zone, it will chase the player. And once the player exits that zone, it will stop uh, chasing. It also has an attack zone. Once the player enters that attack zone, the uh, enemy will attack it. So yeah, and also as you can see, there's lots of slimes. Uh, and what I did was I actually added more than a hundred enemy spawners in this tiny world so we have four different slimes as you know you've seen on the previous vlogs now what I did was I increased the difficulties of these slimes so we have higher health slimes just like this uh, fire slime over at this edge uh, we have a faster moving slime like this teal slime and we have higher attack damage slime like this blue slime has attack higher attack damage so yeah this uh, this tiny world is pretty dangerous so we need to uh equip some items let me go to this uh chest boom awesome so as you can see i added two items to this chest uh you already know what the sword can do, but this one is a new one. It's uh, a gem. So let's talk about the gem. We envision uh, a gem as a magical object in Mahika. And what the gem can do is, or this magical item is, can be used for crafting. It can also be used for granting magical abilities to the player or an object. So, oh, and before I forget, Notice this is a new panel. So we have the hotbar here and I added this new panel. This is going to be our gem panel. And uh, to, you know, activate or equip a gem, you just press uh, the keyboard keys F1 to F4. So let's pick up the uh, sword and the gem. Sweet. And let's test the ability of the gem. So I added the firestorm ability magic in the gem so let me uh, right mouse click boom so awesome so the firestorm ability creates a circle of fire surrounding the player and it spreads out until it dies down awesome so this is a strong magic ability i think i put it as twice as strong of damage given versus the uh, the sword so the sword has 10 this one has 20 uh, because it's strong I actually added a cooldown to this uh, magic ability so let, let's try it again boom so see here I've added five seconds of uh, cooldown before you can use the ability again so yeah it's pretty cool and again uh, this makes it really interesting especially you know battle tactics when you're also in a battle with enemies let's try it out ah awesome see awesome so i feel a bit safer now that i have my equipment let's uh, try to explore our map Doo -doo. Ay -ay -ay -ay. there's so many slimes Aha. ah green slimes come here come on yeah so Firestorm is strong with weak enemies. I know I've added more enemies here. Oh my god. Yes, I know. Ah. There you go. 
Zombies! Yes, I added some zombies! Ah! And the zombies are strong because they are humanoid, so they have more health and they have more. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! ah. Wait! Wait! No! Ah! Oh my god! They got me! I got ghosted! So, another feature that I've added. You know, I mentioned it uh, in the last um, uh, uh, vlog, is being a ghost. So we added this, which is very interesting. Once you die, you don't totally die, you become a ghost. And there's, there's some perks of being a ghost. You can roam around and, you know, you can scout the area with no boundaries. Ah, there's lots of slime, and I actually put it here. And lots of zombies. Awesome. So I can actually go and go past this rocks and cool. Well, this is the edge, so no more, no more map here. So cool. So what I wanted to do is once you become a ghost, you can go to a revive point and revive yourself. Uh, also, I'm thinking you can't be a ghost forever so I'll put it in a timer and once that timer expires you become dead dead so yeah uh, let's find our revive point and revive ourselves I know it's somewhere here da, 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 da. Ah, we're near here we go so I need the mushroom as the revive point awesome You see me, damn it! Ah. Okay, cool. And that's it. Hope you liked this video. Uh, we will have more updates in the following weeks. Uh, we have lots in the pipeline, exciting ones. Uh, our goal for this year is to actually give a stable demo for all of you to download, play, you know, and have fun, and hopefully you give us your feedbacks. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks again for watching, um, hope to see you on the next vlog.